Now we are studying chapter 10. Money. Now we will learn how to writing amount of money. Here is our friend Matteo. How much money does he has? He has three notes. One, two, three notes. And he also has four coins. How much money does he has? Okay, let us count. Here, we count the notes first. This is five dollars. This is one dollar and one dollar. So all together, Matteo has five dollar plus one dollar becomes six dollar plus one dollar become seven dollar so all together from his notes Matteo has seven dollar and how about the coins let us see here he has three quarters dollar let's count every one quarter dollars it means he has 25 cents 25 cents add with another 25 cents become 50 cents add another quarter dollar he got 75 cents this is 5 cents 75 plus 5 80 cents so Matteo has 7 dollar and 80 cents this is how to write 7 dollar and 80 cents how about Janet Now, let us count uh, how many money Katie has. He ha she has three notes and four coins also. She has five dollar, five dollar, and one dollar. Let us count the notes. She has five dollar from this note. Add another five dollar become ten dollar because we add another five dollar here and then add another one dollar so it become eleven dollar from her notes the coins let us count here is quarter dollar means she has 25 cents another 25 cents become 50 cents and then she also have two dimes every one dimes it means she has 10 cents Add another one, 10 cents, becomes 60 cents. And another 10 cents, becomes 70 cents. So all together, she has $11.70. After you know how to count money, I need you to practice by answering your textbook, page 99, and 100 after you finish your practice I also need you to answer your worksheet page 77 78 79 and 80 on worksheet 2 you are asked to color the coins that make one dollar in this case if you don't have any color pencil you can just circle the coin why you need to make a group of one dollar because when you group every one dollar it will be make you easier to count let us try here in number one there are some coins here you need to group every one dollar quarter dollar and quarter dollar would make 50 cent this is two quarter also 50 cent and 50 cent will make one dollar you circle these four quarters and state this is one dollar the remain is five cent so the answer the value of the coins is one dollar from this group and five cent how to add the prices okay here one dollar thirty cent plus sixty five cent because this is cent 
you need to put under the 30 cent. You add the cents first, become 95 cents, and 1 plus nothing become $1. So, these two things will cost $1.95 all together. $1.95. After you understand how to add the money, you need to practice in part B, C, and D. After that, you need to answer worksheet 4 page on your worksheet book page 86 number 2a you need to find out the total prices of these two toys there is a toy bus that costs ten dollar and fifty cent and toy airplane costs eight dollar and ninety cent how to find the total price of these two items First, you add the dollar first. You add 10 plus 8 and it becomes $18. And then you add the cent. 50 cent plus 90 cent. It will be 140 cents. As you know, every 100 cent will make $1. So, in 140 cent, the 100 cent will be a dollar, and the remain is 40 cent, still keep become 40 cent. So you put one dollar here, and the 40 cent here. So all together, these two toys will cost 18 dollar plus one dollar. It becomes nineteen dollar and forty cent. After you know how to add money with the with rename, I need you to answer your worksheet five, page eighty five and until eighty eight. After you know how to add money, you need to know also about how to subtract money. Here in worksheet seven page 91 there is some problems we need to answer the problem and find the solution Katie wants to buy a doll here is the doll she get a 50 cent discount at the shop how much does the doll cost after the discount okay as you know the doll cost fifteen dollars and twenty cent because she got discount fifty cent so the price will be reduced 50 cent so how much money should katie pay to buy that doll okay here 15 dollar and 20 cents subtract by 20. why 20 not 50. we can make it step by step first we can take 20 cent from this price to make it easier after you take 20 cent the price will be $15 only. $15 become $14 and $1. But you just subtract 20 cent. You need to subtract another 30 cent. Because 50 cent can be split into 20 cent and 30 cent. The 20 cent already taken in this part. So you need to take another 30 cent. So from one dollar, you take out the 30 cent. But how can we subtract 30 from one? Remember, one dollar is equal with 100 cent. It's just like you take 30 cents out from 100 cent. So it is 70 cent. So one dollar subtract by 30 cent the answer is 70 cent so the dollar cost 14 dollar and 70 cent after the discount 
After you know how to subtract money, I need you to answer your worksheet, page 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, and 94.